pads. Why do we always have so many saddle pads? Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com where I share ideas with you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. And today I have a video for you on my saddle pads because this is a really requested video to see a saddle pad collection. So I figured I'd show you my collection of saddle pads. So the first saddle pad that I have is my show pad. This is a Performance Shires Equestrian saddle pad. It is a sheepskin saddle pad for my close contact saddle. It's a really, really nice saddle pad, but I only use this if I'm going to be going to shows and stuff. That's the primary purpose of this pad. And this is a Ledia Cool Max pad. And it's for my dressage saddle. It has the Cool Max liner on the bottom, which helps to protect the horse and keep the horse from getting really sweaty and hot when you're riding, which right now it's not that big of a deal because it's kind of chilly outside or temperate, I guess you could say. But in the summertime, if you're gonna be riding for like an hour or so and it's really hot, this will help prevent your horse getting all sweaty. So this is a really nice saddle pad. I haven't used this one yet either. So I'm gonna use this if we go to a dressage show. So now I'm gonna show you, I kinda of have this broken up into different styles. So the pads I'm gonna show you next are all of my fleece saddle pads. And just to warn you, they're dirty because they need to be washed. So this is a half pad, it's a fleece half pad. And I really like this saddle pad for using it on both of my horses. It gives a little bit more protection, especially if we're gonna be jumping and it opens up and it's just got some foam shims on the inside. But that's a really nice saddle pad. I think I got it at Dover. I think it was like $30, so it wasn't very expensive. This is a really old saddle pad that I have and it's really dirty. But it is a fleece saddle pad, but the, the fleece is only around the outside of the saddle pad with the exception on the bottom. So I use that just for schooling. And this is my most favorite fleece saddle pad of all time. This is a pocket pad. You can see it better on this side because the pocket is kind of looser on that side. You put the saddle pad on the horse's back and then you put the underside down in here. So this wouldn't work with a monoflap saddle, but it works really well with my close contact saddle. And then you don't have the billet straps and all of that. and it just works really well. I really like this saddle pad. The next saddle pad I have is just a fleece dressage saddle pad and I use this with my Wintec saddle occasionally. Typically I stay towards the quilted saddle pads but this is a really nice saddle pad to use too. And now I'm getting into my quilted saddle pads. So this is a Ledia saddle pad. I like this because of the pattern. It's fun. But it doesn't have billet straps, so that's not that big of a deal to me, but what's really cool is it has this pocket. That's how you put your girth through on the bottom, but that's a fun saddle pad. It's really light, so it would almost be like a baby pad because there's really not much to it. This saddle pad I ride in a lot. This I got from Riding Warehouse. You can see the Riding Warehouse logo. This is a dressage pad. It's really nice. I really like this saddle pad. It's made by Tough Rider. And you can get them really inexpensively um, on the Riding Warehouse website. I think this was like 16 bucks or something. It was really inexpensive. And it's a really, really nice put together saddle pad. And I also have a Tough Rider Riding Warehouse. Um, all-purpose pad. So I use the white one for my dressage saddle and then I use the black one for my close contact saddle. Most of them have been pretty boring, huh? Not many patterns or anything yet. I tend to stay simple. My next saddle pad is a purple all-purpose quilted saddle pad from Dover. I use this one on Ethan because I like purple and it's a nice pad. It's nice and padded. And then I have a plain Dover saddlery pad. Is it Dover red on the spine? I had the intention of making this a tie-dye saddle pad. I haven't done that yet. I might still, but I really do just like the white colors. 
And this is a, another Dover saddle pad. It's a little dirty, it needs to be washed. That's actually why I have it in the house right now. But that's in navy blue. And then this is, this is like one of my first saddle pads I ever got. It's the quilting pattern is a lot closer together. It's a nice saddle pad. I don't know who made it but it's really faded, so I don't use this one a whole lot, but it is nice to have extra saddle pads, um, especially when you're riding a lot in the spring and summertime and if they get sweaty. When you're riding a lot, you don't wanna use the same saddle pad over and over again, so I'll use it one time when the weather is really nice out, and then I bring it in to be washed. So that's one of the reasons why I have so many saddle pads is because I don't like to use them more than once unless I've washed them. And then this by far is my favorite saddle pad. This says Equitana all around the edges of it. And it's personalized for Frisbee. It's Frisbee's name on it. But this is a dressage saddle pad. I actually got this when I bought Frisbee. Um, the lady I bought him from gave this to me as well because she was like, well, I'm not gonna keep him anymore so I don't need a saddle pad with his name on it. So this is Frisbee saddle pad. I love this saddle pad. So that is my saddle pad collection. I have 14 saddle pads and I know that probably seems like a lot, but each saddle pad has its own purpose and it probably will get some more, but having more saddle pads isn't a priority to me. I just like to have a saddle pad that's going to work with my horse and that's why I have those saddle pads. So not hugely fancy or anything, but I think I have a pretty okay sized collection of saddle pads for my horses. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.